welcome back to the channel uh, first of all i just want to say you sorry for not continuing the previous playlist that i announced on the last video uh, don't worry i will be continuing on that part after this video uh, because i thought this video will be much more important for all of us as a developer and it's uh, this part is also not clearer in the documentation so the part is like whenever we are creating any models so we can add the form we know that right so for example if i go to add payment we can easily add this form and handle the form actions right so we besides that we can also create then info list in the pop-up right so but today what i am going to show you is how we can how we can show the table on our filament model pop-ups right so like so for now what i am going to do is whenever i will add payment let's say let me say amount to pay is 2000 okay i don't have any account let me let me quickly create one account okay uh, test account maybe something right so if i go to purchase invoice yeah here it is and if i go to add payment and i will choose and let's say 500 okay submit the amount is deducted right here so but okay there is missing of info uh, notification uh, let's just leave it so now what i am going to e do is uh, whenever i am going to i am uh, going to add an action here right that action will show me the payment histories table right that will show me the payment transaction table that is here okay here are there is no column but still i have already created the table structure let me quickly show you here uh, app payment maybe inside yeah here it is i will have payment table type transaction number and different there are these things so i just created the separate uh, class because this will be reused on multiple places for me so so now what i am going to do is so and also let me say you uh there is already an article written in the site so i'll just put this link in the description if you want you can go and check this so uh let's start so first of all let us create the action here so for that let me go to my purchase invoice resource mm, here it is so besides this line i am going to create a new table right B make let's say view payment uh, level is also view view payment sorry and then here i need the action right no so what i'm going to do is let me first add an icon so hero icon o uh, i think it's i then i am going to uh, say it is as requires confirmation that will open us the pop-up right if i go back here and let me refresh this so if i go here view payment yeah this is all the things that were normal right we are already using this but now what i'm going to do is so for this uh, model content i'll just create a new view page and return that from here perfect so for that uh, if i go here resources views here inside library i have a mm, okay it's already in use let me just uh, create a new folder for you to show dummy uh, okay payment layout dot blade dot blade dot php sorry php right so here if i will type this is the dummy page <coughs> so now let me i will just return that right so here i can do view and then the page is uh, dummy dot payment layout if i will refresh this page okay dummy dot payment layout let me let me just check sorry okay i oh was this yeah okay if i try to open this yeah this is the dummy page so now at least we have the content here right 
so now how we can handle it is first um, so we can't directly uh, provide the table here I mean if I I cannot use like this so dollar this table it's not possible in filament to uh, integrate the table directly if you can see it is just loading and it will throw the error so now the way is we are going to create the liveware component right and as if everything in filament is also the library component so it will be easier for us to handle in that way right so and then we are just going to add that library component here include that library component here so let me quickly show you that too so uh, let me make library so library um, supplier payment history okay let me name it like this done so here it's my supplier payment history if I need any things so now I can use it here or now since it's extends in component now I need to implement two things as forms and as tables right okay I don't know it's not suggesting me the things still not and let me let me just quickly copy this at attributes from here mm. okay we have hash forms right and then hash tables right after that we need to use two methods uh, use interacts with forms and then interacts interacts with table so right so this is the most required things right so after that what we can do is we can we need to create our table method so if you can see here so if you only need tables you must need to implement has forms otherwise it shows the error so I need to implement both of this and I need to use these tables right so sorry th this contract concerns traits then after that what I can do is now I can define my own table method public function table right so let me just quickly copy the structure here I think I need to this copy this table too because it's not highlighting on my side okay table dollar table and this should be written type of table right so then I need to return dollar table and then everything is same now the way we used to do everything will be the same thing so uh, where is it okay let me quickly uh, copy this whole table method right so now here so here you can see I have okay let me just comment this for now I will show you how we can get the record too so I have at least uh, let me just show you some dummy text column right for now column make name so okay it's still not working properly the input function let me just copy this text column let me just paste it here right okay so here I have this name now everything is here and then if you see here this is the page where this library component will be mounted right let me go to this page here for now if I just uh, remove this and now I can just use dollar this table perfect so now but if you see here this page is still not linked to with that so for that we can just do let me remove this I can just include that page here include livewire dot supplier payment history that's it if I go here you can see I have the things now right everything is here I can see the table this 
let me let me refresh this just a second and then if I try to see it again it's taking some time it's not loading perfectly okay my bad I have just included I need to use other library so it will work on the basis of library property let me just put it inside our div right yeah i think there was some issues let me just refresh and if i go in view payment okay supplier payment is still must have a query so for this now it asks for us to have a query here right so now what i can do is for now let's say user is to, is to query user is to, is to all right i can just return this just for now uh, so here use app models user so let us check if it will work clone does not have uh, exist uh -huh. something issue because we need to pass the query yeah here i have the test user perfect so now besides that what i can do is here i can make it to open on slide over right so that it will open on side instead of this pop-up yeah here it is test user and then other things cancel so now after that so now what i can do is here i can pass my record right function dollar record return this comma um record equals to dollar record right so as you know record will be automatically injected from library for this record so i will just get this record yeah so if i go to dom meter payment layout if i go to payment layout file here before it if i just try to did it record let's see the output if you i try it oh sorry i just misspelled record my bad let me try it again yeah here you can see i got the record right so and what i can do is i can pass that record to this mm -hmm. record dollar record so now if i pass that record there i can access that record to here so it will be my just public dollar record that's it so now what i can do is here is the query right so whenever this there is uh, for that what i can do is i think i need to use the uh, mounted method uh, okay or so if you see here this is from purchase invoice uh, model you can see i have the morph many relation with payments so i'm just returning the payments directly from the relation right i am just querying from the relation so there is no thing to sue for the relation yeah here you can see so if i remove this and if I use my column uh, that is inside reusable so let me just check um, where it was uh, payment information table right okay payment information table get uh, let me just check get table okay mm, okay this is not imported let me just try to import it from here that's it so now if i refresh this so i have paid 500 right so if i go here yes here it is my 500 perfect so let me let me quickly pay another record so like if i let's say pay to this account let's say 1200 more submit 
and if I see in my view payment history here you can see yes 500 and then 1200 uh, this is how we can integrate the tables in filament records so if, even still you can see this is the models so you can always remove these controls from your uh, this page so I don't want to show you that I think I uh, this is already in the documentation so you can modify it on your own thank you guys for watching this video